All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In the Game. And as always, we're going to be diving deep into the crypto gaming and metaverse markets today. And we're going to, you know, go into some gameplay uh, and play some games on Wagme Games' new mobile app, which is very, very crisp. Tower defense game, player versus player, already live on the App Store, Test Flight, iOS App Store, and Android. We'll talk about all that and more. But the big narrative going on in crypto right now is crypto gaming, metaverse, and AI. And we're going to talk about, you know, what this means for the future. And I've been saying this all along from the top ropes, uh, you know, that this industry is going to be the biggest sector to come out of crypto. And I absolutely have the fullest conviction after seeing Gala acquire a studio with 20 million players and more. So we'll talk about that in this edition. Without further ado, let's get into it. Like the video down below and subscribe for more daily here on Crypto Banter. And as always, shout out to our sponsors here, our top tier sponsors here on In The Game. Animoca Brands, the biggest Web3 gaming company in the world. Immutable X, onboarding the most games into Web3 seamlessly on the entire blockchain powered by IMX. And Unix, the leading Web3 gaming infrastructure in the space. You can check out our sponsors down below. So without further ado, let's waste no time. Let's talk about the markets. We're kind of seeing the markets heat up a little bit. And uh, we're seeing a lot of experts start to come out of the woodworks uh, that are saying that, you know, the S&P is probably going to take a 20 percent climb uh, this year and that we're seeing, uh, you know, a bunch of predictions that we're going to have a bullish 2023 all of a sudden. I don't know that that's completely the case, but you should be positioned in those strong conviction positions as always. And, you know, tread lightly. This is not the time still to be getting into those micro caps. Uh, you know, that will come in a continuation of the bull trend. But there are strong projects that are absolutely, you know, cascading waves, right? Obviously, the AI narrative is one thing, and that's kind of setting off uh, a little miniature bull run in the AI sector as far as coins that are off the AI, uh, I would say, niche. But when you look at the crypto gaming sector, Gala acquired a studio this week with 20 million users, and that has set off and triggered this almost miniature crypto gaming bull run. I mean, we have Vulcan Forge taking really good steps this week over the last four days from 280 all the way up to about 360. And when we're looking at, let's just take a look at some of the weekly charts here uh, on some of these crypto gaming tokens. We have 146% up on Gala, uh, even Fate and stuff like Fate and Arena, 42% up, uh, Altura, 32%, Sandbox, 27%. Vulcan Forge 26% up, IMX 25%. So we're seeing a little bit of a miniature bull run here. And it's no mistake because the most money and the most capital as far as VC investments are going into this industry, the crypto gaming, the metaverse industry, the 7 billion that we've seen over the first three quarters of this year. So, you know, shout out to anyone who has been in those positions and having conviction in the industry that's kind of reaping the rewards of those DCAs right now, but definitely buckle in. It could be still an up and down and a bumpy ride, but who knows? Uh, it's really always hard to call the bottom of, you know, DCAing and having those big positions that you have high conviction in, you know, and in these times when nobody else is buying and when nobody else was buying, for example, uh, you know, that was the thing to be doing and just always having a strategy. So now, uh, you know, I would definitely wait for, you know, the next pullback and then try to see, you know, from there what your strategy is going to be. Uh, and obviously, if you're into Gala and you just got 164 percent gains or something like that over the last seven days, please, I would just recommend you take some profit. My profit taking strategy is always if a position doubles, you take out your principal and then you're risk free. You have only profits you're playing with. And all of a sudden um, you're basically playing with house money, so to speak, as far as your profits. Right. Everything you were to take off the table from there is profit. That is what I would recommend. So when your gala doubled this week, for example, from two cents to four cents, I would definitely take off a little bit of that position and secure yourself some of that profit, because at the end of the day, that is the safe play. And when the economy really isn't turning around yet. Right. So hopefully the markets do continue. And it's great to see that this momentum in this industry is still picking up. Right. A lot of people deem crypto gaming dead. A lot of people deem this industry as a fraud. And that is far from the case. And this is where the most singular, I would say, gains and not only that explosion of industry technology will come out of is in the gaming, NFT metaverse and AI sector. So, you know, really looking at our watch list uh, as far as, you know, Vulcan Forge, Ultra. I'm looking into stuff like, you know, Fetch, Ocean Protocol, which are like AI platforms. I might do an AI show here later this week to kind of just go over some of those tokens and the narratives around those tokens, get into the fundamentals and really what's going to drive them if they have potential at all. 
if they have potential at all, or if it's going to be an overblown narrative or if it's a quick steam type of narrative, uh, for example, like when we saw the metaverse pump last year, it was very quick because the markets took a dip. Uh, but I wonder if this AI narrative is here to stay. We'll see. And I'll break down all those tokens here later this week. Uh, but one of the things, uh, you know, the, the, the market uh, having those positions in like your polygons, your Vulcan Forge Ultra uh, and those high quality blue chips like Bitcoin, ETH and Polygon. And then uh, the Vulcan Forge, the ultras of the world. That's really the play to always DCA into those top projects that are putting out, you know, 12 games by Vulcan Forge, 50 games, uh, for example, 50 games plus. Uh, by uh, that Ultra Games is, is putting out. And then we have Gala Games acquiring 20 million users. This industry is undisputable. And betting on the studios and the infrastructures that are putting out massive amounts of games is the way to go. Joe, is Vulcan Forge available on Mexi? Let's take a look. Let's take a look if Vulcan Forge is available on Mexi. You can check this on Coin Market Cap, guys. Uh, you can go down here and see, uh, see all markets. And we'll see here if it is on Mexi, Mexi, Mexi. I don't see Mexi on here. They are listed on quite a bit, though. They are on Coinbase, KuCoin, Binance, um, Crypto.com. They are pretty widespread, but I do not see them on Mexi, no. Um, so that is a way you can see that. You can go down on the Coin Market Cap page and see that stuff. Uh, but that's kind of my take on the markets right now, guys. I definitely wouldn't be chasing pumps. Wait for a continuation to play out. It's not like a bull run. When a, when a bull run starts to happen, it's, it is going to take some time, just like a bear market, uh, just like a bear market takes time to develop, guys. The markets overnight aren't going to just completely leave you behind. You'll be able to have those opportunities on those pullbacks, and especially whenever there are big news events or, or, or the economy still does, starts taking some more downturns. You'll be able to capitalize and have those DCA positions. But we've been preaching having a strategy, and anyone who's had a strategy so far has benefited in the beginning of 2023. So now I want to talk about what I've probably deemed to be one of the smoothest Web3 gaming experiences uh, that I've touched in quite a while and potentially ever. And that's with Wagme Games mobile app. So let me share my screen here. Uh, stop sharing screen, present, uh, and let's present the screen to show some gameplay here of the mobile game for Wagme Games. So right now, you can actually test this out on iOS test flight, and you can test this out on Android App Store. So Wagme Games is like a tower defense player versus player game. Uh, and really, you, you queue up, you can go in there now, you can queue up against other players, against friends. Uh, for example, I go in here and there's a community of, of content creators actually playing in a lobby right now. Uh, we were kind of getting some games in and it's just so fun. You strategically place your characters. Uh, you know, you, you have regen bars and you have to wait a certain amount of time to put out your higher tier characters, as you see here, as the uh, characters are doing some animations. I'm actually going to go forward in the gameplay uh, to a better match here to uh, the last match that we play. Perfect. Uh, so this is me going against Jorge from Arcade right here. And uh, so me and Jorge are playing a game and it's player versus player. You have to strategically uh, put your characters out across the board and uh, each character has different strengths, different region times. And as you see here, I have overall generative uh, stamina bars on the bottom and wag me games on immutable X GameStop NFT marketplace. And honestly, with their plan to onboard with, you know, pure fiat onboarding the easiest way possible. You don't even really have to own, you don't have to own any NFTs to play the game. They're making it as user-friendly, easy to onboard. It's strictly a game. And I think that that's first and foremost. We haven't seen many games. Howie, like even though Fate and Arena throughout the market, it took a hit after the tokenomics, you know, scan, like, not scandal, the tokenomics issues with games like Fate and Arena, Peg Axie, Krabata, et cetera. Uh, and even Axie Infinity that set up the industry tokenomics, still one of the best games out there, right? The MOBA experience, esports. I think that as far as mobile games go, Fate and Arena still is definitely up there. And uh, Wagme Games is pushing that guideline as well as far as uh, mobile games. The games are three-minute loops. Three-minute loops. So you can hop right in. You can play against your friends. You can text your buddy, hey, you want to play a couple games? Boom, you both queue up. And then you can play against each other in this game. And like I mentioned, it's on your mobile app. And it's right now on the test flight. I think we linked down below. For anyone who does want to play in the chat, I'll actually hop in some games uh, as well and see if we can match up here uh, and potentially play against each other. Because I think it's uh, a really good experience. And once the uh, economy is live here, 
Uh, and, you know, they're really putting out the mass exposure to get all the players on board. And I think that Wag Me Games has a really good opportunity to be, A, one of the bigger games on the mobile platform across Web3, and then one of Immutable X's first initial concept success stories, right? Gods Unchained has been fantastic on Immutable X. But other than that, not many games and NFT collections thrive successfully on Immutable X yet. Yet. And, and Immutable X's technology is there. And games are strictly not built yet to run on IMX. And they're building. And once the games are live, like Illuvium, like Wagme Games is now. Uh, and they did their recent comic book sale on Immutable X's network as well. Uh, you have games like Ember Sword. You have games like Guild of Guardians. There's so many different quality brands and IP coming to IMX. And Wagme Games is one of those products on the mobile side. Uh, so if you haven't checked out the game, I would definitely go in there and try to check it out. As you see, I've taken down um, one of Jorge's towers in this, uh, in this game here, uh, and I'm going up. I believe I'm able to uh, eliminate his last one. No, I, I, I am not able to eliminate his last one, but I do take him out here as we see. Uh, Hustle is the victor here. And, you know, as far as Web3 gaming experiences, let's just talk like the wallet popping up in your face. MetaMask, boom, you need to deposit money. You need to buy this NFT. There's such a high barrier of entry. It's not a game. It's not on any app stores. It's on a PC only. It's not on a Mac. No, you're able to hop in on this game and actually play on any device, play against your friends, no barrier of entry. And then once the economy is actually live and flowing, uh, you know, the actual model behind this game for economics is a lot smarter than the initial tokenomics model as well. I would advise you look into that as if you're more interested in Wagme games on the tokenomic side. Uh, but as far as the gameplay, they have the model. They have a game, uh, a theory, the tower defense player versus player, which was super successful in a Web 2 sense. They've brought their own flair to it, their own characters to it. And I'm super excited to see what they're able to do with, uh, you know, a mobile app on, uh, you know, on the uh, App Store and, you know, getting that mass exposure because mobile games have their own market. And yes, Audi for crypto. I honestly... Like, I'm not a mobile gamer for the most part, but mobile gaming is a huge market. And we have to understand that if we can capture all these markets, right, the creature catchers, uh, the creature, uh, you know, capture genre, the open world genre that actually want to come in here and, you know, play Illuvium. Okay. And then there's the shrapnels. There's the, <laughs> no, I did not cheat, Jorge. I did not cheat, by the way. I did not. Uh, so th there's, there are people who have a first person shooter affection, right? But mobile gaming captures such a massive audience. And with the low barrier of entry and onboarding ease of access to this game and to this ecosystem, I think that Wagme Games is going to be one of those first success stories out of the mobile gaming sector from Web3 and one of the first success stories on IMX's mobile side as well. Because there aren't many mobile games that are live on Immutable X at this moment in time. Um, and, you know, like there's... A community of people already playing this right now. Let me see if I can just, uh, let me just, just quickly. Let me see if I can pop up. Uh, I know there's a bunch of creators doing some stuff right now. Let me see if I can go over and get back in this Google Meet and just show you, like, uh, you know, the the community around this game, the creators that are creating in this game. Um, you know, I definitely think that this is one to keep on your radar. And you know, as far as the markets go, it's a six million dollar project. Not something you should be definitely. Uh, treading as far as a market right now. But whenever the market does gain momentum, I think that Wagme Games has a lot of explosive upside potential uh, whenever that time comes around. Just looking at the product, just looking at the product strictly, right? Uh, and as far as everything that the team's doing. So let me pull off my screen here. Let me see if I'm able to hop in here. And... Just all right share screen window all right as you see a community a community of people here uh you know playing the game and and jorge just gets the work as far as uh you know me just handling him in that last match that we showed there so uh, and i and i did not cheat and jorge always talks crap uh, but i did not cheat and i promise you that so uh guys it's awesome to see 
it's awesome to see a mobile game building to the level of Wagme games. And I, I'm just really excited for everything to come in the ecosystem from the economics of the game, from the ease of access and the low barrier of entry. So kudos guys. And, uh, uh, you know, pleasure as always. All right, guys. So um, that's really going to do it for the show today. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show off the gameplay, show off some mobile product that's coming to this space. We always talk about the AAA products. We always talk about the AAA products. I talk about Shrapnel. I talk about Alluvium. I talk about Kiraverse. I talk about Dead Drop. I talk about all the first person shooters in the world. I talk about so many different things in the world. Uh, and Audi for crypto. I, I'm with you, man, right? I, I love first-person shooters. Uh, I love Halo. I love Call of Duty. I love third-person shooters. I love sports games. I love, uh, you know, different games like that. But there is a fantastic market for mobile games. So definitely go check that out if any, uh, you know, if anyone is a mobile gamer and just has, you know, 10 minutes on the fly, you're able to play a couple of games and boom, eventually you're going to be able to make a couple of dollars uh, through that game every time you hop on, right? And uh, super bullish on IMX in the future as well. Uh, I want their token unlocks to play out a little more. And, uh, you know, if the market had continuous momentum, that's a different story. But if their token unlocks play out a little more, I'll definitely be super bullish on the IMX token moving forward. But never financial advice, as always, guys. And take profits. Always take profits. If your coins double like Gala Games, please take profits and tread carefully. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. And as always, like the video, subscribe for more. We'll be back tomorrow. And play well, my friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs>